from World of Concrete 2018 right here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And a good morning. This is day three of the World of Concrete show. And I'd like you to introduce now Avi Khan, who is the president and CEO of Hilti. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Good Thanks morning. for having me back on the show. Well, great it's to be our here. pleasure to have you back. And, and, and nice to see you once again. Yeah, thank you. Another year is off the table. Another year is off the table. It was a great year overall for construction and a very good year for us at Hilti North America. Well, as well. I was going to say, you have, you have kind of taken on the role of being an educator in the construction field now, and, and it all has to do with government regulation and everything that has to do with, uh, with breathing and other apparatus and the tools that go along with it. So tell us a little bit about your role here in, in getting some of these regulations from OSHA and the EPA into the marketplace. Yeah. I really like the way you positioned it because OSHA came out with these new regulations uh, surrounding dust control. And uh, we're an equipment supplier, so you wouldn't right. typically think we're an educator, but the way we've approached it is first educate our customers on what are the regulations, which are quite complex, consult with them on how to build good compliance plans, and then also provide them the solutions. And the tools. And the tools that and go the with And the tools it. that go along with them. And Lord knows Hilti has a lineup of tools in this particular vein. So give us an idea, how complex was this OSHA and EPA ruling? So the OSHA ruling was actually thousands of pages. I'm sure it was. And we were uh, able, working with industry experts, safety experts, uh, to bring it down to a white paper of 20 pages. Did you form a consortium of effect and, and get other people involved in, it, in, in the business? Yeah, that's exactly what we did. So back in 2016 already, we brought those people down to our headquarters in Plano, Texas to help us understand together what does it mean yes. and what will it mean to our customers. Yes and particularly the impact overall on the industry. Absolutely, because as the tool suppliers and as a company that really believes in building a better future and making a positive impact in the environment, we really saw it as an opportunity to help our customers control the amount of dust that comes out of a breaker or a drill or a grinder that we supply right. and help the worker work in a safer way. So net result, how well were you able to condense all these regulations? We're very excited about that. We narrowed it down, as I said, to about 20 pages. Unbelievable. We were able to have great participation in our webinars where yeah. any customer can join, any person that's interested can join and learn about the regulations. We also offer on-site trainings and consultations across our Hilti stores across the United States. Right. So we got it down to something that's digestible. And if you couple that with our compliance plans and our templates that we provide our customers, and the final leg, which is more than 80 tools that can work in a dust-controlled environment, we feel we have a great solution to help our customers understand the regulations and work in a safer way. So what have you been able to discern so far or ascertain from the net result of all these rules being imposed, and how well has the industry accepted them? I think one thing we learned is the OSHA ruling is actually a good thing. It will ensure the operators that use this equipment every day will be protected from silicosis, which is a real disease, a disease that affects your lungs and could actually kill you. We also found out that our customers care about safety. They're safety minded and they simply wanted to understand the ruling, sure. the impact on them, on their workflow. But once they do that, they're very eager to build compliance plans and to work in a way that's safer. So as someone that's been now 14 years in this industry, it was very encouraging to see that there's less pushback and more let's work together as an industry right. to understand that and protect the worker. Has there been any, any result that you've seen personally that is, wow, this is a surprise? That's a great question. I think I was surprised in some cases with the fast speed of implementation. Ah, and I, okay. I'll give you an example. OSHA delayed the actual enforcement to right, September, right. but still went uh, earlier in the state of Virginia in June. And our customers in the state of Virginia responded in a very positive way and in a very fast way. And throughout the year, because of the speed of response, we actually had periods where we had no vacuums in our <laughs> stock. We had no uh, new tools in stock and we had to even fly them in 
because the response was simply overwhelmingly positive. So it left it, you scratching your head saying, what's going on? Left us really saying, going into 2018, we need to be ready. We need right. to understand that customers take this seriously right. and we need to do our part and make sure our inventory is ready to supply our customers. Well, previous to our on-camera discussion, we were talking about these rules and regulations. And I was interested to note that, that uh, from, from our discussion that Europe has got totally different set of rules. Yes. Yeah, particularly so it, Western Europe. Absolutely. So Hilti is a Liechtenstein-based company and right. being out of Europe, we uh, always try to comply with the local regulations right. in the more than 100 countries that we operate. And you're absolutely right. Certain countries in Western Europe have had these dust rules in place and other rules that sure. protect sure. the health and safety of construction workers for years, sometimes decades. That gives us a certain advantage because many of those solutions we already have, right. even though we're still developing more solutions that are specific to the U.S. market. Well, it's amazing, you know, how you, how it's all come around and evolved into this particular thing. One basically feeds another, and they all they all sectorize, but it, it becomes an overwhelming umbrella. It is an overwhelming umbrella, and safety as a whole on construction sites, I believe, as someone that visits construction right, right. sites on a regular basis, is taken very seriously, and I'm very confident that our customers and the overall industry will continue to take steps to ensure safety. And it fits well with our story at Hilti, because our story is always built around productivity right. and safety, right. and that's why we also saw it as a real opportunity as you said before, to educate, right. consult, and then yes, the solutions and the products yeah. come, yeah. but they're not the first thing. Well, Avi Khan, I sure want to thank you for stopping by. It's a heck of a message you bring, and it, I think it would be well advised for people to absorb this message and get on the bandwagon if there's any reluctance on their part. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me again at the show. And if I could just add the webinars I mentioned before, right. come at no cost, so anybody that's ah. interested in getting educated, Please go to our website and you're more than welcome to attend them and learn more about the regulations. And if you have questions, you're at the show. By all means, stop by the Hilti folks, say hello, find out more, get all kinds of information from Avi and his people, and certainly you can get it all on the web at Hilti.com. All this from World of Concrete 2018.